What is going on, guys? Welcome to one of the best ab workouts that you are ever going to get if you have a decline bench either at the gym or at home. So check this out. The first exercise I'm doing is just body weight ab crunches on that decline bench. I'm going anywhere from 12 to 15 different reps. I really like this one as like the warm up to kind of get like my body already pre exhaust for my core. Next up, I'm going into decline Russian twist. All right, anywhere from 18 to 20 different touches on each side. Um, this one is definitely going to get your obliques, get your whole entire core on fire. This is a great movement. I absolutely love this exercise and hate it at the same time because it burns so good. Next up, I'm going into one of the hardest ones in my opinion is just uh, basically a, a twisting sit up where I'm going to sit all the way up and I'm trying to focus on my right elbow touching my left knee and I'm going right back down and then I'm going to twist up and it's going to be my left elbow touching my right knee on the opposite side. Um, once again, this is great for your full entire core because it works the obliques and the body so well. Next up, I'm just going into some weighted decline sit-ups. Now you can hold this straight above your head if you want. You can do a dumbbell, you can do a medicine ball. It really does not matter at all. Whatever is more comfortable for you, I would say. And I'm doing this anywhere from 12 to 15 reps as well. Next up, I'm now trying to target my lower abdominals. For this one, I'm doing a reverse crunch. And you guys can see here, my butt is coming off the ground. That's because I want it to, okay? It's coming off the bench. I'm trying to focus on driving my knees to my elbows. This is really gonna target the lower abdominals and especially kind of fatigue you for the next exercise that's up. And the next one that's up is one of the best lower abdominal exercises on the decline bench, and that is simply leg raises. This one is a tough one. I'm trying to go anywhere from 12 to 15 different reps. Um, this one literally makes your abs start shaking a little bit. But, hey, this is what we need if we really want to get those lower abs popping. And then lastly, I'm going to finish this circuit with some flutter kicks. Once again, targeting those lower abdominals. Guys, do this anywhere from two to three different rounds if you want a full entire decline bench ab workout. It should take anywhere from about, I don't know, eight to 12 minutes.